Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play City Skylines. Now, I know a lot of you have been wondering about performance and how we can get good graphics when they increased the recommended specs for the game. Well, on day one, where we're at right now, this is the day one build that I'm looking at, and it, it, I am not meeting the recommended requirements, but I am still getting good frames per second. So I thought I would take a moment to show you my graphic settings so that you know what to do when you have the game. So we're going to go into options and we'll go to graphics and you can see that I have a 4K monitor, but I did downscale to 1440 on my resolution. That made a big difference. And then uh, you want to disable depth of field completely. And then we'll look at some of these in advanced detail as well. So to go to advanced, you can go up here and then you can get a little bit more detail. So I have disabled dynamic resolution. I also came down here and we have high anti-aliasing. We have high cloud quality. We have fog enabled. We have disabled volumetrics quality settings. So that's what you want to do there. And then high ambient occlusion, high global illumination, high reflections quality, disable depth of field completely, resolution, I, oh, that's all part of depth of field actually, and then motion blur, I disabled this, uh, you could enable it, it really only Im, uh, like uh, impacts the movement when you're moving the camera around, and then that might impact your frame rate there, but I don't like it, so I disabled it entirely. Shadow quality is high, terrain quality is high, uh, water quality is high. Level of detail. So this is where you want to uh, set this to very low, which is what you'll get the 25% level of detail distance. And then I set up the crossfade so that it looks okay when you're moving around. But really, this makes a huge difference, the level of detail. That tells you when the uh, the secondary models appear on screen. So then when this is low, then your graphic processor is only generating high detail at the near distance. Then we want to have high animation quality and high texture quality, and that is it. And with that, we can take a look here at the city. We are getting over 20 FPS. No, it's not great. I'd like to be over 30, but we are getting over 20 about 25 right now and as I go into downtown it goes down a little bit I'm getting about 21 right now 22 but it is still acceptable to me I can move around pretty well and it looks really good so I'm really happy with that so if you have enjoyed this video be sure to click on the video on the screen now it will take you to a full beginner's guide where we are doing a let's play style where I talk through every single thing so that as beginners, you can get an idea of how to play the sequel to City Skylines. So thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.